about a billion people on the planet don't have access to safe, clean drinking water. My name is Seth Maxwell, and I'm uh, 24 years old, and I'm the founder of The Thirst Project. The Thirst Project is a movement of high school and college students across America that are raising awareness of and bringing solutions to the global water crisis. What we're doing with that is essentially traveling across the U.S. as our nonprofit to speak at high schools and colleges and educate those students about the water crisis and then challenge them to do something about it. I had a friend who was a photojournalist who had just come back from a trip that she had taken all over the world and over about a 45 minute coffee session I sat and listened and watched as I looked at picture after picture after picture of three and four and five year olds on the side of the road drinking water out of puddles, ponds, swamps, stuff that looked like chocolate milk. And I went home and started talking to my friends and I was like, guys, you have no idea what's going on in the world. And uh, we started raising awareness on our campus. And then a couple other schools shortly after that said, would you guys come to our school and basically tell our friends what you told us? We wanna see if we can do something. So we did, and in about a month, the first two schools we spoke at raised about $12,000 that they gave to us and said, go build wells. So that was really the inception, our moment where we realized we could do this, like we could really make something significant happen here. We're just now four years old, and in those four years, those students have helped us raise about $2.6 million that we then used to build wells in 11 countries to give 100,000 people safe, clean water indefinitely. Suddenly, it means that kids who used to have to walk eight hours a day, 10 kilometers to the nearest pond or stream don't have to do that anymore. So they're able to go to school, they're able to get an education. It means that women who used to have to walk eight hours a day to get you know water from a nearest pond, they don't have to do that anymore. They're able to get jobs, they're able to contribute financially to their households. We've seen disease rates pretty consistently drop by about 80% almost overnight when you bring safe water into a community. So Take Part TV is partnering with us for our annual gala and one of the campaigns we've developed with them is called the Giving Well Campaign. And essentially as they launch their new channel, in order to help us with our goal to give the entire country of Swaziland clean water, they've drawn alongside and said that for every person who subscribes to their channel, they will donate 25 cents with the goal of building an entire well in Swaziland which costs about $12,000. The future of Thirst Project is really exciting because it doesn't just end with Swaziland. While that's a really attractive victory point to be able to say we've given an entire country clean water, what it really is beyond that is an amazing case study that when and if we're successful, we can then take to the current administration, the current UN, other partners with NGOs who are also doing water and say, look, if we can do this here, why can't we do it everywhere?